What's up YouTube, we're back. We got a great video for you guys this week. We got an unboxing up at the factory, cash out at the factory. Riley's gonna do a, a real or fake and the comments, you guys decide which one is fake, so get your typing fingers ready for that. We're revealing the winner from last week's video, so if you guys haven't seen that, make sure to go check that out from last week, it was pretty cool. What else we got? Oh, don't forget Ryan's joke of the week too. And then before the video is over, we're gonna pick a comment and give some cash away. So look out for that and let's get straight into it. guys last week you saw the video one winner gets to keep the outfit one loser has to take it back and the winner goes Cameron votes came in my poor Abby lost I don't really want to talk about you know Got off to a good start. you did get off to a good start I thought you were gonna run away with it but oh, everybody liked the Jordan fit and by the way I'm gonna let both of you guys keep the outfits and the shoes. No one's gonna have to take them back. I think they both did a great job. Let's give them a round of applause. Great video last week. That was pretty fun, I liked it. This is what we're gonna do. I'm throwing it out right now. So this weekend, she has to wear a fluorescent green flow cape t-shirt for being the loser. Oh, easy. Easy, there we go. <laughs> Her size? I don't know, she could, she'll cuff it up or whatever she does with it. <laughs> Put a tie in the back, <laughs> tie it up. I thought your outfit was very good. It was. It was fine. I'm gonna wear it. So, Riley's gonna show you some shoes. Three pairs, one pair is fake, two pair are legit. You pick out, tell us in the comments. Might win some money. We give away $50, $40, $30, sometimes 10, sometimes 20. Yeah. We never tell you, but we give away money every single week. Abby's gonna pick the winner later on the video, so get ready for that as well. Thank you guys. What is up guys, I got a fun little segment for you right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dissect these three pairs right here. And I'm gonna let you guys decide which one you think is unauthentic. We've got two authentic pairs here. One of them is unauthentic. Two come with receipts. One does not. I'm not doing any boxes because on the fake pair, the box pretty much is a dead set giveaway, at least for me. You guys are gonna get left to decide which one you believe is unauthentic and which two you believe are authentic. And in the next video, I'll announce it and we'll go from there. But let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start with this pair right here on the right. I've got the Dunk High SB Californias. Basically what I do when I get these pairs in store is I'll take a look at them. First thing I usually start with is the general feel of the materials. The stitching, I usually go through, I check this back heel worth the stitching first give you guys a close-up look there and then I move on to the back of the shoe usually and I'll take a look at the back see how everything lines up there as well and once I'm done checking the back I'll usually go to the tongue usually check out the tongue first right after make sure all the lettering lines up if it does then we're all straight and then I'll take a look at the uh, the inside of the shoe I usually then unlace the shoe here I take a look at the back of the tongue because the back of the tongue is pretty important when it comes to checking these pairs. So I'll let you guys take a look at the back. Let us know what you think of that. I usually take a look at this back tongue. You guys can check out the whole tongue in its entirety. Take a look at that stitching, make sure everything looks good. I'm gonna see if I can get a good clear image of this size tag for you guys. I'll take out this insole. We'll look at the bottom of the insole and then I'll let you guys check out the stitching as well. So now we have the bottom of the insole here. And then we'll take a look at the backs of the insole. Check out that stitching along the back heel. That's usually where I look next. Check out the bottoms. Make sure everything lines up. Make sure that Nike SB is in a good spot. It's got good font. I always feel that, that Nike SB pad. If it's hard, firm, squishy, whatever it may be, I always give it a nice squish. None of these pairs are gonna be on the website, by the way, so none of you guys can cheat. We've had multiples of all these pairs, so if you feel like you've seen them before, it won't make a difference. I know people like to check the inside flaps on these Dunk High SBs, make sure everything looks good there. Give you guys a side view right here, just so you can check everything else, make sure the, the look of the shoe is okay, make sure those swooshes are nice. Next, we've got the Grateful Dead SBs in the yellow colorway. Extra laces. Like I said, first thing I do, I'll go through and I'll check the materials on the shoe. Give you guys a nice look at the materials, the suede, the uh, fur they got going on here. You guys can see, you know, the outlines, everything like that. 
flip them around here so you can see the outside as well. Get a nice view of that, uh, that Nike swoosh. The back, the back heel. Check out the tongue. Give you guys a front view of the tongue there. You got the bear sitting on the Nike sign. I'll show you guys the stash pocket because with these, everyone always wants to check the stash pocket. All right, give you guys a view of the back of the tongue there. So take a look at that bottom of the insole. I'll flip this around so you guys can see the font through here as well. All right, and then we're gonna take a look at the stitching along the insole. Check the size tag, you're gonna check the fonts, you're gonna check the spacing. All right, we're gonna wrap up these Grateful Deads by giving you guys a view of the bottom of the shoe. And give this a squish. You guys can take a look at the extra laces. Last of all, I'll show you an outside view of the shoe, both of them right next to each other. That way you can get a nice view of both shoes. We're moving on to our last pair here. We've got the Nike SB Donkai Duramans. Gonna check the materials first, that's what we do. We feel the leather, and then we feel the suede. We check the quality, that's where I start every single time. Give you guys a nice view so you can see the stitching on the shoe. I always start in the back heel. You can always start there. You can start up front. You can start the inside of the shoe, wherever you want. You guys can get a view of this side as well. Back of the shoe. This is where you always want to check the stitching and the lettering on the tongue. Make sure everything's lined up nice. Back of the tongue, a lot of people probably didn't know there is a stash pocket on this shoe. Make sure the font looks good. Make sure your stitching looks good. Show you guys the stash pocket. Always want to check these the flaps on the dunk eyes, make sure that the stitching is all right. Let's take this insole out so you guys can see it. Lay it down, that way you guys can see the font and everything, make sure the cutouts look good. Now we're gonna check the back, the heel stitching. Always want to check your size tags. Here is the bottom of the shoe. Give it a nice squish. And then you want to take a peek at the extra laces on the shoe. Make sure, give you guys a nice close up. So we're gonna end things off. I got all the shoes together. At the end of the day, two are real, one is fake. Which one is it? You guys let me know in the comments. I'll chat it up. And in the next video, I'll run you through why the shoe is fake and I'll tell you which one it is. Best of luck. I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, back with more beard. Blues are in the playoffs. I'm not trying to offend all of our Colorado watchers. Just saying in general, the Blues are gonna take this series. Another unboxing, you guys keep telling us you love it, so we're gonna knock this out real quick. This is from one of my new plugs, and I believe I know what it is, but I'll let you guys see it, and then we'll go from there. Nice packing job. This is how you're supposed to pack shoes nicely. Now we got a little dent on the top. So I've already let the person know that the shoe box was, see, but that's what happens. It was too much space in there. So this is a entire box of pure slides. And since I have your attention here, let me just go ahead and walk you through what we're looking for. Um, Riley gave me a little lesson the other day in how to legit check these so i'll help you guys do that too while i'm here so how's that sound we probably have like 20 something pairs here a couple things to look for tag obviously on the thing i mean i want to make sure you look at the box it's a little bit more structured there's a couple telling things if you look at this this tag up in the light you'll see like a little like almost like a watermark inside the tag you're also looking to make sure that the shoes like not too stiff. You're looking for just like any kind of imperfections on it or anything like that that make it, like if you see on a regular Yeezy that has like this rounded edge, sometimes on fakes that doesn't have that. So you gotta make sure you watch that. You're gonna look for a sticker inside here. There's a sticker inside there. You wanna make sure that the sticker has room on the top line between the line and the sizes. This one looks good. You wanna look at the box. You're gonna look at this tag right here. You wanna make sure that that G is under that L or between that G, that L and I right there and in perfect line. That's a good indicator right there. 
The box label looks good. Everything looks good on these. So what we do is we go through every pair. We legit check them. Yes, we do every pair. Uh, Riley and Britton are on their way to legit check all these. Then we <laughs> send the guy the money. I think I talked to him last week about Gua. That's how we do it. Obviously, summer's coming up. We need slides. We need them. And we know they just restocked. So a lot of you guys probably have them. So we will be continuing to purchase those. Great, great boxing job, great shipping by my guy. Again, more pairs of slides. This has all the way to 14. 14 is a tough size to find in slides. So we always try to get as big as we can. We try to carry everything through size 14. We don't carry anything above size 14. So, just a small unboxing, wanted to show you guys. We have them coming in every day, but I just wanted to get this one out to you guys, let you guys see it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's that time where we pick a comment and we give away some cash. It is my turn this week. Obviously last week we did the fit challenge, and if you didn't choose me, Consider yourself out because I mean I just gotta choose my favorite comment and that comment is going to jot LSD 619 the comment says Abby one easy little more fashion sense. I Love the comment really just warms my heart to be honest, but jot LSD 619 make sure to put down in the comments below some way we can get a hold of you Venmo or get you the cash um, congratulations on winning and thank you for the comment and remember guys that every week we're giving away cash for the comments so maybe next week it'll be you make sure you comment down below bye guys what's good guys nothing new here the lucky cart brought it out because we're doing another cash out twelve thousand dollars sixty pairs Someone we've done a cash out before. This is probably, I think now we've spent about 30K with them in the past five months, six months. That's not how we are, it's nothing new. Let's get straight to it. Pairs again. That's a good amount. Second deal. Yeah, last one was uh, 125. So that's about good. We're approaching 200. In the past We're five uh, 35,000 in in the last uh, five months. Mm -hmm. So not too bad. Yeah. yeah. So we started, I sent him an offer about, I think it was like 1185. He shot me back with uh, 125. He threw some extra items in. Ended up coming down to it. We met at 12,000. So we got 12,000 here for you, sir. I appreciate you very much. As always. Oh, yeah. After more, this, a few more months, we'll do it again. That's what I'm saying. After this, it'll be a couple months, but we'll run it back again. He'll count it up. Deal's done. I'm gonna run you guys through some of our pickups. Got some good stuff in here. Obviously, we can't keep the Red Thunders, so I'm gonna run you through. We picked up, looks like four and a half through seven, and then a couple men's sizes too. As you guys know, you should know what they look like by now. The Red Thunder Fours, it's a beautiful pair, just like the original Thunder Fours, the yellow and black pair. Same materials and everything, that shoe's gonna shoot up in value. Um, as you guys know, we're opening the third store, so we're just, we're pretty much buying as much as we can right now. So we grabbed some Marina Blues. Not a bad pair. I know a lot of people say everybody's sleeping on them, everybody's not, you know. We didn't pay too much over retail on these. Like I said, Marcus just not, not there on them. I think we were about 180, 185 on the Marina Blues. Grade school, uh, Red Thunders, just a little over 200. I think we ranged anywhere from, on the smaller sizes, uh, 215 all the way up to, I believe, 240 or so. Around there, that range. Um, obviously, the men's sizes go for a little bit more. Um, I think we have them at 315. Uh, we picked up a couple pairs there. And then we've got the Patent Breads. If you guys know and you keep up with the uh, StockX and GOAT and just the marketplaces in general, you'll know that the prices on these are just all over the place. The smaller sizes go for way less than the bigger sizes. So I think on the smaller ones, we were at like 250, 240, around that range, all the, ranging all the way up to, you know, 320, 330 on the bigger sizes. It's a huge range, but you know, it's a shoe that everybody loves right now. And we've got the linen mids. 
These aren't hitting for too much, but it's a great neutral tone shoe. So we will always pick it up when it comes to selling, you know, affordable shoes in store. Not everybody wants to come in, like I've talked about in previous videos, not everybody wants to come in and spend, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars on a pair of shoe. If you do, by all means, come do it. But if you're trying to save some money and still get a fresh pair of kicks, go with some mids, some lows, save yourself a little bit. Then we got the smoke gray lows right here. Looks like they're eBay certified. He's got receipts with most of these pairs, so I'm gonna be running through a little authenticity check after we run through some of them. Get it all finished. Got a whole stack of these smoke gray red lows here. About six pair. I think we paid anywhere from what looks like 145, around 145 for this size range here. Then here, looks like these are eBay certified. Looks like they also come with some type of, some eBay stickers, the pollens. It's been a minute since these released. I believe they were actually early or late 21. Let's check the release date on these. So mid 21, uh, I think it was about a year ago this month actually. So we got some pollen lows. I think this is a great summer shoe. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the yellow and white colorway in general. Um, I wish that the pollen Jordan 1 highs were more like that. I wish it was just straight yellow and white, less of like a mustard color, giving it more of a, a vibrant summer color, you know? Go here. We buy these all the time. You guys see us cash out on these. Pretty much every cash out deal we do. Uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, they sell really well in store. Like I said, it's that affordable option for everybody. And we've got some one-off pairs. I know we in the back back here, we've got some pandas. Obviously, you guys know how we are with the pandas. We'll pick them up every time we see them. I know they restock pretty much every other day. It's the next Air Force One, I'm telling you guys. Then I believe this is size 11 in the Team Reds. Another nice pair. I think this is like a, you know, it's that dark, dark. It's like a maroon instead of that vibrant red. So I could see that being like a more of a high value shoe come like fall, winter time. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. I'm gonna reach down here. I know we got some unions. Cannot go wrong with unions, man. I'll tell you, this colorway in general, you guys have seen me wear these a lot. This is a really, really nice pair here. The pistachio colorway. I love those. Let me see what we paid on those. I know we paid, paid pretty well for the unions. Uh, size a little, size nine and a half. Yeah, size nine and a half. Paid four hundred. We'll have him in store. He worked me out a good deal on most of these pairs. You know, like I said, it's Danny, so he hooks us up every single time. You spend that much money with someone, you know, you take care of them. You always get taken care of. That's why I preach building good relationships. You know, don't scrape somebody for that extra ten, twenty dollars because it's gonna hurt you in the long run. Got to take care of your people, man. We take care of the family. These Argon Dunks, let me tell you, these this pair here has been selling in store like nothing else. I know we paid $3.35 for this size 11 right here. This is another great pair. I mean, honestly, it's size 11. Sorry, you might see it on my feet. Leave it at that though, I mean, it's a great pair. You can't go wrong with the unions. Let's see what we got here, we got a size 10. Looks like these are the Midas Golds. Another eBay certified pair. Like I said, regardless of whether they're certified, eBay, StockX, GOAT, I always run them through our th authenticity process. So Britton will take a look at them. I'll take a look at them. I've been teaching Ryan a few things here and there. So Ryan's got some knowledge on it now too. So we all take a look. Cameron looks at them, a couple more people. Everybody takes a look at this shoe before they hit the actual shelf itself. That way we can 100% assure you that everything you're buying from Soul Cave, 100% real. Looks like we got some zebras right here, size 11. If you guys haven't figured out yet, Danny wears size 11. That's why most of these shoes are size 11. And it's a good it's a good size that we sell in store. You guys can see Hibbit receipt there. Got zebras here. It's the Panda Dunk of the, of the Yeezy 350s. Not that it restocks so much, but you get that black and white. You can wear it with anything. That's why everybody loves the pandas. You can wear them with anything. I think the zebras go the same way. Obviously, you got the red lettering. So you can't really say it's the panda donk. I mean, it's a zebra, so. You get the concept, black and white. Wear it with whatever you want. Wear it every day, whatever you gotta do. Any season, any time. Purple box, you know it's about to be a banger. SB, come on. You got the mummies. Come on. I'll take it out, flip it around. The infamous eyes on the back. You cannot go wrong. Come on. This shoe is going to be super high value come next fall season by the time Halloween rolls through. What kind of shoe are you going to want to wear besides the Mummy SBs? 
I'll wait. I mean, the only other shoe that I would approve, and you know, you don't need my approval, shattered backboards. I can see the shattered backboards working out for Halloween. Obviously, you got the Halloween dunks that just dropped. Those are good too. But when it comes to getting the perfect Halloween shoe, I'm going with the mummies. I know a lot of people will probably agree with me. Some people might tell me I'm crazy. It's okay. It's a good kind of crazy when you pick some mummy dunks, you know? All right, we hadn't gone through these yet. Women's size nine, vintage green dunks. I like this pair a lot. I'll tell you why. I like that cream sole. Gives it an off-white cream vibe. And the vintage look that makes that leather look real shiny and cracked almost, like that's, that's a super nice touch. Obviously, if you guys are up to date with the market, the Michigan State Dunks, same colorway, all white sole, no patent cracking leather look. Man, they're like four, approaching five grade school sizes are up there. So to get this pair, similar but not identical, for a little bit less, I mean, they obviously are a high value shoe now. They're low three, mid 300. So, you know, get them now while you can, or if you don't want to pay the high ticket for the Michigan States, you can spend three, 350. That's what I'd say. I'd say that's a good bet. Can't go wrong doing that. What I tell you guys about this shoe, this is a good one. The Fossil Rose Dunks. And this is a size 11, and I'm almost positive that this one no, I gotta be good. These will hit the store. We've got, I know we've got like eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I told you guys we were buying them. They are selling in store, so they may not even have a chance to rise before we're completely out of them. But the fact that they are selling in store and you can see the prices, you see the materials, that's, that's a trend, guys. Those are those key factors you gotta look for in a shoe when it's about to shoot up in value. But that about wraps it up. We've got 60 pairs here. All these shoes, we gotta get to work. We gotta get them processed. Obviously, I act like I do all that, but Rebecca is the one who, you know, knocks that all out of the park for us. We get them, we pick them up in the morning, get them wrapped up, get them in store for you guys. 60 pair cash out, light work, said and done. Ryan's back with another joke of the week. All right, this is a good one. You guys ready? Did you hear about the first restaurant that opened on the moon? The review said it had great food, but a really bad atmosphere. See you next week. All right, guys, we're at the end of the video. Appreciate you watching all the way through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. If you know someone who's into shoes and doesn't know about us, go ahead and share this video with them. Spread the word, we really appreciate that. And don't forget to comment to win some cash for next week. Have a good one, guys. Nice shirt. Thanks. <laughs> I'd wear it again, 10 out of 10. I hate that color. I think it looks good. Well, Not just my eyes. Glad you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> for this opportunity, guys.